just guitar just came in from Fender. I would have loved to show you me pulling it out of the actual box, but I got a little boo boo. I mean, they they got it stapled down pretty good. It's pretty hard to get the box open. So props to Fender for sending it off. So let's see what I got in here. This is brand new, never been opened before. All right, for Fender, I got those little locks. I'll show you why I have those in a minute because I think Fender screwed up here. And here we have a brand new, this is from Just Ordered, American Standard Stratocaster in three-tone sunburst with a beautiful rosewood finish. It has a uh, modern C-shaped neck, 9.5 radius. So it's a basic neck uh, size that you find on every Strat. I guess that's why it's a standard Strat. And what's awesome about these Strats that are newly redesigned, instead of having those Alnico 5 pickups that generally come in an American Standard, you got custom shop fat 50s in there. That's right, with this beautiful aged hardware. Look how gorgeous. But this camera sucks. It doesn't do justice, definitely. But wow, this thing's beautiful. It's the first time I'm looking at it. I just check out that green. Consistent throughout. Can't even tell that that's separate pieces of wood. It's an older body. Comes with a two-point floating tremolo that you see here. The cheaper guitars will have the six screws you know, that kind of helps a little bit for tuning. So, you know, if you buy a Mexican Strat or one of the shitty Squires, you get that. And that's uh, how the old Fenders were made too. And now they use this system, which lets the bridge roll freely if you use your uh, whammy bar. And then it's good. So this is just really nice. And it's got three springs in the back. I'll show you the back in a minute. And look how beautiful the finish is on that headstock. I love it. Fender made in the USA Stratocaster. On the back. <laughs> have the typical headstock. It's like a, though, you know, there is a finish on this. It's not as rough as you would get on a, a Mexican or a shitty like SX guitar, but it's not too thick to finish. It's nice. There's a uh, rosewood reinforcement right here on maple necks. Maple's not too strong of a wood. If any of you have maple shelves, then uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You put some weight on it, it start bending. So the tension from the strings definitely does that. That definitely helps. That's not in a in one of the guitars. Then you know that's one of the touches they put on a well built quality neck on a bolt on neck like this and this. These fenders also have this micro tilt adjustment, lets you adjust the neck back and forth. Tiny little increments instead of having to adjust the truss rod if you need to, and that helps you adjust the action. So these pickups, I can't wait to plug this thing in and play. I'll make a different video playing it with the sounds that I get out of it and everything compared to some other strats that I have. I have an older American strat, so I could compare it to that. I also have a Koa strat and... I have a shitty SX strip, knockoff strat, and a few others. So I really like this. I just wanted to pick one of these up now that they come with the fat 50s. And, uh, you know, yeah, I got a really, really sweet deal on this too. I don't want to upset anyone who bought it, but uh, let me go over. Because if you bought one of these, you probably paid over $1,000. And uh, they're worth it, but I mean, I'm not too big of a fan of Fender guitars in general, even though I own a whole bunch of them. I really prefer PRS instruments. I think Fender and Gibson put out a lot of garbage, you know, for their reputation. That, that doesn't necessarily, the quality of the products don't necessarily live up to the quality that you would expect. And that, that they try to make you think is inherent to their company, but... Definitely not. So what comes in the case is, oh, here we have a little bumper sticker. That's cool. This one's a little messed up, but that's all right. I'm not going to put it on my car, but I'll find somewhere to put it. And here's a little, here are all the different headstocks. 
of the instruments that Fender make it electric guitars and electric basses and there's some detail probably warranty information or something thank you for your purchase blah 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 has some serial number information I have a bunch of these so I'm not gonna open it uh, just because I know what's already in here so I'll explain it to you there's a strap that comes with it this is like a 10 foot cable comes with a microfiber cleaning cloth there should be five or six picks in here that come usually like 0.78 millimeter or something like that something medium and there also should be two separate little well there's the whammy bar that's in there also should be and there's two separate if you could see allen keys one of them will go to adjust <clears throat> the truss rod if you need it one of them will adjust the height on the saddles and this looks like it's intonated pretty well you know you can tell because if it goes down like this, three, and then you have three going down, so it's kind of like you have two uh, parallel lines going at an angle down, then you know that it's that I'll probably but I have to restring it with the uh, pens that I use, which are the best strings in the world. Elixir Polywebs. If you have a Strat, boy, oh boy, you put these on. If you know how to set up your guitar, you can keep these on there for 10 years. I promise you. I have these on my Strats, and you never need to change strings. They never run dead. And uh, these are the Polyweb Elixirs. I know a lot of people hate on them, and you can hate on me, but they sound great, and they last forever. Make sure if you buy these, you get these with anti-rust plain steel. The plain steel are the ones that aren't wound. So you have your G, B, and E strings that aren't really uh, wound by anything. And they're usually, if you don't get these, you just get the one that's a Polyweb, not with the anti-rust plain steel. That means these strings... The high ones are not coated. The base strings would be, but not that. So you want to make sure you get that. You can get these for like six, seven dollars on eBay. They're not even expensive anymore compared to regular strings. I paid twelve ninety nine for Norm's Music, a local shop. That's because I like supporting the guys and I love Norm. And so I'm gonna set it up with that. But it looks like whoever to set it up pretty well. And the grain is really nice on here. I can't wait to plug this bad boy in. I'm going to drive the Naples nuts tonight. And now it comes with the case too. So under here, there's also a key. American standards. One of the good things as opposed to the American special, which has those Texas Tex-Mex pickups or whatever they are, Texas special pickups actually in them. I kind of like those, but I like these fat 50s a lot better. That's why I went with them. So for those of you who travel that uh, are musicians and gig, Fender has this lovely lock on here, which I think that's sentry safe. Don't get me wrong. It's either sentry safe or, uh, um, I forget the other one right now, but this says TSA002. Now, these are supposed to be TSA approved locks, which means the TSA, those guys that pat you down and pat down grannies and little kids at the airport, those guys can open this up without busting in. Because if you just put a regular lock to lock your gear on, they bust in. But I personally don't like this company because I've had used these luggage locks on planes before on my luggage. And my shit got clipped by the TSA. And apparently they're supposed to have the key. And after doing research, what I found out is a lot of these are bullshit. They just put TSA on them, but the TSA cannot open them. And if you travel, you need to protect your gear. Even if you have... A gig bag, your gig bag should have on the zipper, if it's any decent quality, two little things attached to the zipper and you should lock it. On your guitars, if you're carrying uh, any type, you should always have some type of locking mechanism on your amp, whatever it is you're traveling with because people will break in, people will steal your shit. That's something I know firsthand. And if you are carrying expensive gear, you're walking around with twelve, fifteen hundred dollar guitars, sometimes three thousand dollar guitars, you don't want anyone breaking them or stealing them or doing anything, you know? So what I found out is that see this patent number? Seven million something. Twenty one thousand five thirty seven and seven million thirty six thousand seven hundred and twenty eight. Those are patents for these locks that the TSA can open. And it's only this company, as you could see, Safe Skies Locks, that won't get clipped in my experience. 
these will not get cut off. So if you're traveling on your gear, go to Safe Skies Locks. Like, and these things are like five bucks. They make the little ones, and they make ones with three. A three combo code, a four combo code. They make ones if you want. That these are really sick. These are uh, they they have keys, but basically it will give you if a TSA agent opened it with their master key, it shows red, so you know if someone broke, if someone else opened your lock, you'll know if they busted in just because no matter how they open, unless they use your key, it will be good. So go and buy these if you don't want your shit busted in. And I know a lot of you have that problem. I know a lot of people have that problem in general. They buy locks from like Dwayne Reed or something like that. They're pharmacies and it says, oh, the TSA will open these and then uh, they bust in anyway. So I don't know about traveling with this on an airplane. I don't think I'm going to do it. I travel a lot, but I'm not going to do it with this. I, I'm scared they'll, they'll break in for the most part. So this is not something you want to take on a plane anyway, unless it's absolutely necessary. So thanks for watching the video, and uh, uh, I actually have a few more items to unbox. So hopefully I'll bring you those videos, but first I want to play this and see how this sounds and make a video for you guys about the sound of this. So toodaloo, and subscribe to my channel so you can watch more awesome guitars being reviewed because I have a whole bunch of them. Lux, I'll show you why I have those in a minute because I think Fender screwed up here. And here we have a brand new, this is from Just Ordered, American Standard Stratocaster in three-tone sunburst with a beautiful rosewood finish it has a uh, modern c-shaped neck 9.5 radius and i'm looking at it I just check out that green consistent throughout can't even tell that that's separate pieces of wood it's an older body comes with a two-point floating tremolo that you see here the cheaper guitars will have the six screws you know, that kind of helps a little bit for tuning. So, you know, if you buy a Mexican Strat or one of the shitty... Just guitar just came in from Fender. I would have loved to show you me pulling it out of the actual box, but I got a little boo-boo. I mean, they, they got it stapled down pretty good. It's pretty hard to get the box open. So props to Fender for sending it up. So let's see what I got in here. Brand new, never been opened before. All right, for Fender, I got those little wires. You get that. And that's uh, how the old Fenders were made too. And now they use this system, which lets the bridge roll freely if you use your uh, whammy bar. Then it's good. So this is just really nice. And it's got three springs in the back. I'll show you the back in a minute. And look how beautiful the finish so it's a basic neck uh size that you find on every strat i guess that's why it's a standard strat and what's awesome about these strats that are newly redesigned instead of having those al nico 5 pickups that generally come in an american standard you got custom shop fat 50s in there that's right with this beautiful aged hardware look how gorgeous but this camera sucks it doesn't do justice definitely but wow, this thing's beautiful. It's the first 